a cherry dip cone. What size would you like? Um, what size? Medium. Medium. All right. Anything else? Can I get a side of sprinkles, please? That popcorn shrimp basket looks amazing. We're in Dairy Queen. All right. Anything else? And then can I get that Oreo Brookie Blizzard and small? And then can I get a large cup of water with ice, please? Large cup of water with ice, all right. That's it. Thirteen ninety-five. You can put forward. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You guys, so we are at Dairy Queen. I swear he said thirty dollars, but yeah, I could be I wrong. I could be wrong. So let me just wait it out. Yeah, and see. I think that maybe. Yeah, I don't think a cherry. Marlene dip wanted to come to cherry dip. She wanted to get her own cherry dip. Una cosa que she barely eats sweets like that. We barely eat sweets. No, and I, I'm the type of person that I love to get my own shit. Bro, they had mad burgers. Yeah, I saw those burgers and them, them I drinks. I don't want the onion rings and another soda, but I'm like, nah. Nah, we're going to eat. I'm going to go home and I'm going to have more snacks because it's purge night. We're going to yeah. We're gonna have a party. Got an Oreo brookie for Jose. I don't know if you could see that. Okay, right there because of the lighting. But meeting it, so it has Oreos inside. I think it has cookie doughs. But meeting it, so meeting it, oh my God. God, is this delicious. And mm. I don't like this stuff. Mm. I don't like this stuff at all. Give me another bite and hurry up. Here you go. This is Jose. We're going to share with Jose. Um, here you go, Jose. We got, obviously, this for me and Marlene. Marlene wanted to get her own book. And Marlene thought that maybe had a trerita, Like, she wanted to come here. Um, the last vlog you guys saw, you guys know. Oh, my God. Look at this. Look at this. Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 If you're wondering if it's nasty, we share you guys. That we share. We have the same DNA and we not we don't have boyfriends. We have a rule where if she got a man and she's making out, we not sharing mm -hmm. we not sharing shit. Mm -hmm. That's our rule. I don't play those games. Mm -mm. And it's been years that no, it hasn't been years. Well last year? It's been like a year or something that I haven't kissed anybody so yeah it's okay she's she's this disease and germ free you know mm -hmm. so oh my god i'm eating with a fork yeah, okay, take a minute. Mm. wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute because i got my sprinkles wait a minute you guys that's like my favorite word now wait a minute so what we're gonna do oh it is, was 13 dollars mm -hmm. We thought he and said the, 30. And the thing is sounded like he said 30. Mm -hmm. I'm like, no way. $30? Darlene was like, I'm like, Darlene, pero ask him how much. She's like, no, we'll just pay for it. I'm like, Darlene, pero un ice cream cone no, no cuesta 10 pesos. Go mm -hmm. sprinkles. Mm -mm. Here we go. Mm. I love getting fat. Shout out to my future man because he's about to be feeding me. You guys. Mm. It's all, about, it's all about balance because, yeah, I know I said I was getting a little hefty. Um, yesterday I had a salad. I've been trying to eat really good. But the summertime, I'm going to indulge a little bit here. At the movies, you guys, we're going to go see Mario. I cannot wait. Yay. So the movie was five seventy five because it's a sale today. The soda was it's show them the show here. five dollars for the soda. We brought we did bring jackets because it gets cold in the movies and um, it's crowded. But everybody's watching Spider Man and something else. There's I think like the Little Mermaid. Yeah, there's like five people in our movie theater, um, but we're sitting on the opposite side, so. Yeah, um, they got a lot of good movies. They got Insidious. Look at Insidious right here. Um, you guys, I want to see uh, Boogeyman. I heard it's really good, but I don't know yet. We'll see. So these are the snacks that we decided to take to the movies. Everybody picked out what they wanted. I tried that Lunchables, you guys, and it was so good. And I took myself a water. The movie was really, really cute. Let me know what you thought down below. Our life savings on this commercial. That is not a commercial. That is cinema. And uh, what about the accents? Is it? Is it too much? Too much. It's a perfect. 
me dancing. I'm in the club right now. You see my moves? Y'all see my moves? Mar was feeling it. Wait, you guys. You're going to see the moves now because we were watching a little bit of the clip. Go. Get it. Get it. Hey, she had to put her drink down. Hey, hit it. Hit it. Hey, 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 hey. Movie is over. Look at my hair. It looks like shit. It was shit. good. The movie. It was amazing. I really enjoyed it. I wish it was a little bit more like... uh different like the music it was like not like it was like more updated if that makes it any sense good, it was good i liked it i will watch it again but at home this time so you guys we came to duncan i got the caramel macchiato which i'm just gonna share with my brother but this stuff this caramel macchiato i don't know which one is better this one or starbucks okay you know what don't, don't bro let much. me tell you something the four vibes that we've been getting here is just amazing it's just ridiculous like yeah it's actually cold out here it's like break oh, so pass me the package that we got today you know i was just hyping up dunkin donuts but man fuck yeah because yo no se lo que tiene dunkin donuts they never ever stir the drinks so you know i take a little zippy zip of the top i got the butter pecan mm -hmm. coffee by the way so i take a drink of it and i'm like wow this is the most delicious thing Put the straw down, bro. Yeah, but you gotta shake it. That's okay. That's so, what I'm saying. Like, I hate that, that they don't, you know, like stir it. Shout out to the subscriber that sent us a package. Um, they were like, I love all your videos. I think you two will love these. Me and my twin sister love these from Michelle Torres. Shout out to you because I wanted to get these for my sister. These are the vegan certified. These are the roll, the roll mini pinkies look how cute you guys know us so well like it's just Darlene amazing doesn't smoke by no. the way but thank you so much because i was on my way to the dollar general or the family dollar i usually go to the dollar general to get my um oh wait i'm gonna get this to my brother my blunt wraps but oh my god now i don't have to go thank try you so that. much i'm gonna try this as soon as i get home i'm so excited mm -hmm. like you made my day. God bless you. Like, I just hope that... It's take a little bit more. And that's crazy because... I just because hope that God triples it for you. Like, you just made my day. For y'all to be twins. You and... feel, like, so special. Yeah. Like, I love wow, this. Wow, that's so special. Like, y'all the best sisters in the world mm -hmm. to me. Like, this is amazing. I was smoking, by the way. I was high. Like... We just did another video, so obviously that's going to go up before this one. is going to be linked down below. I've been trying to link down all the previous videos that we've been doing. Um, I'm going to smoke right now again, too. Like. So I'm going to, you know, try to... Mm. By the way, we just prayed the rosary. You guys are all in our prayers um, always because we love you guys. Um... Let me just go like that to it because of the wind. So, yeah, we're just here in Dunkin' Donuts. I'm about to edit a video. Um, yeah, we're bringing them back to back to back. Stay tuned because we're putting a lot of videos coming up next week. A lot of new content. Um, what else did you want to say? That's pretty much it. Um, we hope that you guys are so far enjoying the vlog. Stay tuned because next clip I'm going to try to cook some rice vegetable rice and i'm gonna do the whole recipes from start to finish so you guys can see it um because you guys love seeing me cook rice a lot of people don't know how to cook rice you know i just measure everything as i go i blow everything because that's how i grew up cooking we're gonna do vegetable rice and also i wanted to address too i also said that we were gonna go see my babysitter i don't know if we um ended up putting that clip before because you know we edit everything chop it up but if i did mention that we don't go is because um, I have like something to do this weekend and I'm gonna let y'all know in the weekend mm. in the weekend vlog what we're doing and what we're to... na muha. Hold on, let me let me open this uh let me turn on the car and close the window because it is pouring out here. Yours is fine. Yeah, I was just making sure because sometimes... we're just saying nah, because... oh, okay. Yeah, that's why I was feeling it. No, I'm not... um let me put it just a little bit. I dio mio, we left the yeah. I left the window open in my room. My window is gonna, my, my, excuse me, my thing is gonna be soaked. I better call my dad and tell him to close the window for By me. By the way, we bought a Boston cream pie and a sugar donut. And well, it's a Boston pie, a Boston cream. I always call it Boston cream pie. Me too, but, I don't know why. But I, I used to hate those donuts, but last time we came to Dunkin' Donuts and they gave it to me cold. <gasps> 
so oh good. Oh my God, it's so delicious if you put it cold in the fridge because the cream filling like sets. I used to hate the fact that you eat it and it's like a big glob of like cream filling in it. I don't know. I don't like that stuff. Like I, I like the cream to be distributed. Yeah, like even. a thin layer, Poppy. Um, Give me a thin layer, not a big glob. Ooh. So, um, also, I wanted to say... Damn, man, I forgot now what I was going to say because she made me lose my train of thought. We always want to talk at the goddamn same time. Oh, man, I forgot. But um, We're vlogging or we were talking about the Bronx. We're not going to go see my babysitter because no, we have a prior engagement. No, that's not it. I don't know, you guys. I forgot what I was going to say. But, yeah, stay tuned to the recipe uh, for the rice because I'm going to include that here so you guys can see it. You guys love seeing our recipes. There has been a bug inside, a fly in here, and I had the window open. It still doesn't want to leave. Maybe, oh. you know, it's protecting us or whatever. But You know what I was going to tell you? Mm. I'm about to go get Botox and lip fillers again. Yeah. So, so I'm going to... I'm a, um take you guys along with that because i'm gonna do my own procedure yep so, she's doing a new procedure we're gonna vlog it in the channel mm -hmm. i'm a little nervous for you because we were googling youtubing it you know what i'm saying because i like to do my own research when i'm gonna do something right so a lot of people be asking us stuff i don't know how people be having iphones and, and, and all these you know androids and they don't be doing their research like mm -hmm. when i want a procedure i google or if i follow a girl that does something that i like I follow what she did. You know what I mean? Usually they'll tell you, oh, I went to this doctor, or I did this, or I did that. You Google, you You don't reviews. follow what she did. You do your research. Yeah, if but I'm puts, saying... Excuse me. If she puts an Instagram or a doctor down below, we research the doctor, how many years, the experience, the before and after pictures, reviews. That's what she means. We never follow anybody. Keep in mind, our money, our body, we do what we want. You do what you want, and again... I appreciate everybody that gives us love, support, and says, oh, my God, your hair looks so nice. Oh, my God, beautiful skin. We take a lot of uh, time and dedication to take care of this beauty. You know what I'm saying? Like, I literally don't have to do anything to my face. I really don't. But if I, could, if I eat bad all the time and I eat, like, greasy food and chocolates and stuff like that, I'm bound to break out. Mm -hmm. But I try to stay away from all that stuff. Yeah, you know, I'm yeah. not saying that I'm on a diet or stuff, but I like to watch what I eat and stuff like that. You know, I'm learning more that I feel like the more I take care of me, the more I love myself and value this, this temple that I have, the more... You know, I feel good, if that makes any sense. I was just watching Maya the other day. Maya is like 40-something. And if you see this girl, she looks like she's 20. She takes care of herself. And I want to be like that. I want to get to the I point that I just take too. more time into learning ingredients. Shout out to <coughs> <coughs> that blunt, man. That blunt. Hot no. boxing it up in here again. Again, again. I'm sorry. Um... um Shout out to the people, to all the beautiful ladies on Instagram that sent me, you know, links to YouTube videos on, you know, people that watch out for ingredients and labels and stuff like that. I'm really going to get more into that because I feel like a lot of the foods that we eat, you know, um, play a big role of DEP, how we feel um, internally, mentally. I feel like not for nothing when I was celery juicing. That's something I want to go back to. Mm -hmm. I was feeling better. Like, I wasn't as, you know, depressed and stuff like that. You know, and it's like... You Don't know, mention that word here because, you know... Oh, you I have to talk about it sometimes because it's like, you know, a lot of people go through it. And mm -hmm. it's like, there's a lot of people that are, unfortunately, is raining. You know, have to be on medication. I don't want to be on medications. Yeah. I want to be able to cope with, with, with my issues and, and mm -hmm. my, my traumas and the stuff that, that bother and... and and trigger and stuff like that. I want to be able to fix that and be able to cope with it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. There's not no cure to it. There really isn't. I'm sorry, but... But taking care of yourself and eating the right food. And making me, you know, putting me as a priority first. Yeah. Whatever doesn't serve me no purpose, whatever that is draining my energy, I'm not giving it my, my energy no yeah. more. Like, I can't. I have to be at peace and focus on me. I got to cut it here because I got to call my dad to close the window because I'm telling you, my room should be a hot mess right now stay tuned for the rice and make sure if you get to this part links of all the videos are going to be down below and let me know what you think about the rice 
All right, so a la ligera, one, two, three, como my mom used to say, we're gonna do this quick. Got peppers right here, as you can see, I gotta clean this out because if we don't use them, they go bad. Okay, so my suggestion is wash them and freeze them. We got some broccoli here, tomato paste, onions, cilantro, my Dominican seasoning that I make, my sazon, I can't open it right now, and then I have some garlic. To save some time, I don't have time to do the garlic. I'm just going to use garlic powder. But I'm going to show you this because I wanted to. So let's jump into making the rice. So we're going to take some extra virgin olive oil. You could use whatever amount you want. And I'm going to take a little bit of these seeds. I'm not going to take that much because they're pretty hard to take out. This is the achote seeds. And what this does is just colors the rice. So I'm just going to let this go for like two minutes. Take them out, spoon it out, and then I'll show you the next step. So this is what the oil is supposed to look like. If you want to let it go for a little bit more on low heat, you can do that. But I'm going to spoon mine out right now. All right, now I have this on low heat. I'm going to take some tomato paste. Okay. Let this dissolve and do its thing. This is tirando chipazo. So. Okay, now I'm going to take some of my seasonings right here. That's the Dominican seasoning that I make. So now we're gonna take some of our onions. You add as much onion as you want. I know in my Dominican culture, they put the onions and the cilantro and the peppers really, really big because they like to spoon it out. We like to eat it. I'm gonna leave the peppers big today. Um, so we're just gonna let this do its thing. It smells, it smells amazing so far you guys um, and now I'm just gonna take a little bit of cilantro and add it on here as well my cilantro is in now I forgot to tell you you guys we're gonna be adding some calabaza to this um, it was in the freezer so that's fine I'm just gonna throw a whole bunch of pieces in here because we love it I don't know about you it's good for soups for beans it's so sweet and it's gonna melt down in the rice so um, I'm just going to add the whole bag, fuck it, because we love it so much. It's going to turn into nothing. So I want to show you, this is the cup that I use for rice. Uh, I don't know how many quarts this is. I don't know. Don't mind the lipstick. That's just staying there. But um, yeah, this is the, I'm just going to eyeball it. I'm going to use this amount of water. So up to here, let me show you how I fill it up. This is the amount of water that I'm going to be using. Now we're just going to add it to the pan. Oh my God, look at all the color from the tomato paste, from the achote seeds. And now when the calabaza starts dissolving, it's going to be amazing. I know it looks like a little bit of water, but we don't want to make too much rice. And then this is the amount of rice that I'm going to be using. We only use jasmine rice ever since I tried jasmine rice. I've just been obsessed with it. I love it. I love how it comes out every time. That's the best rice. And I am going to need to add more water to my rice. I know it already because I'm going to be adding broccoli to it. So I'll show you. I'm sorry, you guys. My phone is dying, but that's why the flash is not on. I'm going to be adding some salt to this. And I'm going to add a good amount because, you know, the rice soaks it up. Some oregano. Yeah, and the calabaza is really sweet as well. Mm. So... Um, garlic powder and then I'm gonna be doing some black pepper and maybe a little bit of paprika I'm not sure yet but I don't think we need paprika because the color is beautiful and Joe, yeah 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 you're right I'm not we're gonna, gonna add... need more water for sure mm -hmm. um, so let's add this rice in here so this is the rice already in it doesn't look like there's any rice but there really is I'm gonna add just a tiny bit of water and I'll show you that real quick I apologize for the lighting, but as you can see, just this amount of water. I know it looks like it's not a lot, but it will do justice. Here it is. I'm adding it in. And I'm just going to let this come up to a boil. I'm going to try it a little bit, just the water to see. I know by just looking at it, it's going to need a little bit more salt. Because mama knows best here, and I can tell from the water that it's going to need a little bit more salt. So you guys, I was wrong. You don't need more salt. It tastes amazing. I'm just going to go ahead and add all my broccoli to the rice because it's about to start drying out. And we're just going to let, let it do its thing. So what you want to do is let it come 
let the water dry out and once it dries out you cover it we usually leave ours for 25 minutes or 30 minutes on low heat yep. and then hmm? go ahead continue no what this is gonna eventually like when you see it it's gonna turn into nothing the calabaza is gonna turn into mush which i don't mind and so is the broccoli again remember you guys my father hates crunchy broccoli I would have probably waited till the rice was over and done and mm -hmm. then put the broccoli mm -hmm. in at the end if you like the crunchy effect. But again, you know, daddy, daddy, you know, father, Father's Day is coming and I just like to spoil my dad mm -hmm. and yeah. do what he likes, you know. So, oh my God, this looks so delicious. So I'll show you when it's completely done. Okay, you guys. So here's my rice drying out. So I wanted to show you this because I follow this girl on Instagram and i only follow people that are like positive and stuff this girl she's dominican too she made a rice like this and she took salami dominicano and queso tropical or and or queso de santo domingo and she put it on top omg we cannot stop doing this every time now we cook rice so i have a little bit of tropical cheese here I'm just gonna cut it up in dices and put it on top of the rice and oh my god it's so freaking good don't knock it till you try it okay okay so as you can see my rice is almost completely dry so i'm gonna go to this corner and add some cheese to this corner add some cheese you could put salami in here dominican salami trust me it is delicious i'm like, not picky these days you guys sorry i'm eating grapes because i'm starving and it gives the rice a creamy effect like it's, it's so really good. good especially if you season the rice Oh, mm, mm, mm. it's so good. So delicious. This is almost completely dry. I'm gonna let it go for a couple minutes. Cover it 25 to 30 minutes on low, and I'll show you when it's completely done. So I just want to show you the rice. Look how good that looks. Get that mess a glove real quick. I just want to show you really quick. It's completely done. I personally like my rice a little bit moist. So before I close it, I leave a little bit of water. Look at that. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying with the calabaza? OMG. Like, after we turn it off, it's just going to dry out a little bit more. But oh, miren eso. Look at that. Yeah, that Look is at done that. already. Look at all that cheese. OMG. I'm going to have Marlene try it a little bit so she could tell you what she thinks. And this right here is all going to be con con. I love the edges. Comment down below and let me know. So before y'all judge, you know, my lipstick is coming off because we just came home from doing a little video for y'all. Let's try this rice really quick and my hair is a mess. It's hot, so let's try it. That's calabaza and rice. Hot. A mouth on your mouth. Uh -uh. Delicious. Comment down below if you want to see more rice recipes. Mm. Wait till my dad tries it. And I'm going to pair it up with some beans later. Good. So this is dinner tonight, you guys. It looks so good and it tastes so freaking good. Look at that rice. So good. And then we have some sweet plantains. So we just threw it in the oven and then we added some cheese to one of them. And then that side as well, we added a little bit of mozz and Parmesan cheese. We put it in for like 45 minutes at 400 degrees and look how good. Come and eat you guys. So I'm about to do my nails really quick. Do not mind the vitamins. I gotta do a little update on these nails because they're growing in and I want to change the polish. So I'm going to do one of these colors. I put it on Instagram, but nobody has responded yet. So if you don't follow me on there, the link is going to be down below. But I think I might do purple and green. I'm not going to lie. For some reason, I want to do something different. But let's get this nail thing done and I'll show you what it looks like afterwards. So you guys already know I had to get my nails done because once, one, I was tired of the nail polish and two, I have something coming up so I wanted to make sure that my nails look nice. My sisters are pretty good because I did them like a week ago so I wanted to make sure that mine were done. This is the last time I'm going to do my nails because after this set I'm just going to take them off and let them breathe just like my sister because we are going to be getting a fresh set for our birthday. You guys know that I usually do my nails, but there's certain times that I like to splurge and one of them is going to be for my birthday. So I'll get them done again and then from there I'll fill them in like usual. If you guys want to see more uh, videos like this where I add 
um, how I do my nails or maybe do one that it's like from start to finish when it's slowed down instead of being like fast forward like this let me know down below because I'll do that for you guys and shout out to everybody that helped me pick out a color on Instagram the link is gonna be down below if you guys want to follow me on there I try to post as much as I can sometimes I like to take a break but make sure you follow me look at my nails you guys i just put the cuticle oil wanted to show you really quick these are the two polishes that i use shout out to everybody on instagram that helped me pick out a color so these are the colors halloween these are from the hocus pocus line so i just wanted to show you guys that you guys i came to this dominican store really quick by my house i didn't know this even existed but I wanted to show you all the Dominican stuff that they have. OMG. This is so cool. I love that look for my Mexicans. I like to do tortillas and stuff. So, let me get, ooh, cranberries. So cool. Look, you guys, oh no. I have to get a monster cheese. No freaking way no way they got everything i want look papi mire my sister wants one of these oh my sister wants the tre leche and they have flan i wonder if i should get a flan what is this i'm not sure maharete oh yeah i'm getting this definitely 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 really quick let me show you everything i got from the dominican store I got some Munster cheese because I love cheese. I got some crackers from Marlene. I love these Goya crackers. I got some oregano. They had the grind it up one for mm -hmm. $6.99 and then they had this one, the whole one, which I like this one and the lady said I have to get this one better because um, you can grind it up with your hands and it releases like the smell and everything and the oils. So I got this. Um, I got bacon, this was $24. I got some dulce de leche from my brother. We got some mamitas because you guys know I used to grow up eating these and I wanted to try the batata one. We got some tres leche. We got three avocados. I left one in the bag. I got a majarete. We got let me soy because Marlene wanted one. This is so good. It's so minty and it's amazing. Yeah, it's good to wash your whole house with that. Yeah, and then we got some vainilla. Dominican and then we got some bread because we're going to be making BLTs tonight for dinner. So everything was uh, 52, 52 dollars. I want to try this one. Yeah Dictate our education 10 <laughs> things I hate about you. I don't know if you guys I like this movie, forward. but we love it take her mind off before she comes to class <laughs> Comment down so below and let me know like, what's your favorite to romantic movie and cat I want to thank you for your point. Of I just came out of the dentist because I don't know if I told you earlier in this vlog. I think I said it in a few clips earlier that my um tooth. Yeah, I don't think so. I swear I did. Maybe it was another uh, vlog. But we've been vlogging all week. So I was eating the other night. I was watching something and my cavity came off. I thought it was my piercing because some. Yeah, I know I have the snake eye. So sometimes when it goes loose, the ball comes off. So I'm here thinking I'm eating and I'm fishing for the ball. I'm like. Wait a minute, I still got my tongue ring, so it was a cavity, number four. It came off, so I was panicking. I kind of knew, like, I didn't need to get, um, because I went to dental school before, so I felt the cavity. I have a crown before it, so I knew that I was I would be able to have him numb, not numb me, because I've had dentists, like, drill your teeth. Didn't they do that to you before? Where mm -hmm. you had a cavity and you didn't have to get numb? Yeah, but it, you, have to, you have to have a big... Uh, pain tolerance level because the just the drill itself the smell and the burning sensation um, trust me I can deal with pain when it comes to my Mine's teeth. didn't hurt at all because it wasn't he didn't have to go deep once you have to go to a deep cavity you know this one was pretty big but we didn't have to go all the way to like I guess the, the she's happy because she didn't have to get yeah I'm so thankful to God I pray to God because you know I have I'm to happy. run some errands we have to take the dog a bath by the way y'all don't know we're going to Florida we're going to Florida so by the time you see this vlog the ending we will be in Florida I'm excited I'm so excited to get out of here because it's gloomy so I'm expecting the weather to be nice 
We got a lot of shit to tell yeah, you when we go um, to Florida. I, I'm just blonde. Like, I don't know. I think it's that time of the month. Darlene's coming, having, I just, yeah, she's I just have been having one of those weeks because, you know, it's just a lot. You know, like, I'm I'm trying to, yeah, I'm trying to get stuff done, and it's like, you know how you go and do something, and you follow directions, and no matter how many times you follow direction, it still doesn't go your way, so then you have to wait to get a phone call in order to fix the issue, that's what I'm going through right now, and I'm trying to be as patient as possible, because it's just, it's just, it's just one of those things that, eventually, I will explain to you guys, I don't want to say it right now, because... It's not the time, but yeah, you guys, let me get going because I have to go somewhere else, get some paperwork, and then we're going to go home. And what else? We have I to have to fix this nail. Actually, as you can see that, there's like this bump thing, and I have to put Marlene's gem that keeps falling off. Coño, this fucking gem keeps falling off because I have a star. I'm, I'm going to put it on just for the weekend. It's not going to make it to Florida. I'm I think right so. Now. Yeah, I think so because I'm going to get a different hoop this time. I keep using the same hoop. So, um, yeah, you know, Darlene did my nails. and I did gonna- mine, you guys. Look how cute they look. I'm going to do glitter, I guess, on this one because I feel like... Mm, um, an it, accent yeah, nail. And sorry this vlog is gonna be a lot of talking, kind of, but next vlog will make up for it. Hey guys, look at my little baby. He don't like showering, but it must be done because we're going on vacation. And I gotta do it slow, because last time, one time, I was watching him like this. I guess I was being rough, and he bit me. Like, he didn't bit me hard. He just put his teeth, like, right here, like, to tell me, yo, you do, you're going a little too hard. You need to stop. And he, um... We have to put the advantage tomorrow. Today is Friday, but I just wanted to show you. If you love Woody and you think he's Say cute, hi, Papa. make sure you like uh, the video. You see his eyes, how hazy it is? That's because he's going blind, my baby. I and love both him. eyes, they pull Yeah, in. my baby. He's so old. Woody, tell everybody to like the video. Papi, so tell old. everybody to like the video. So, we are going to be doing some skincare now. Um, this one is Marlene's. She got this one in Amazon for under 30 bucks and it comes with a whole bunch of different tools. But this one was sent to me on Instagram by this company that disappeared for free. Um, this one is going to be a little bit more harsh. Um, but this just sucks off all the pores mm-hmm. in your face, like any blackheads, black heads, white heads. heads. And it makes your skin feel like a baby once you're done. So afterwards, we're going to use the Clarisonic because we do this once a month or every three weeks. We like to stay on top of this because, you know. I don't really, I haven't used this in a while. I haven't, I like to use this when I feel like my face needs it. But my Clarisonic, man, I need to do, I wash my face every day, but I feel like because, you know, we don't have our own bathrooms, we're not as consistent as we should with these things. So let me turn mine on and I'll show you. This one is mine, so all you wanna do is just go like this. It's like a suction cup. And it just takes out any impurities, imperfections, like blackheads, all that I like to do it in my chin, like right here. The most painful part is gonna be up here. All this up here, as you can see, it's already ill. Like, it's like, and it makes your uh, face red. Um, Because I go really fast like this on mine. I'm so used to it and I kind of like the pain. I don't know. I'm just weird like that. So this is what we do. By the way, I wanted to say this is an alternate um, device to the PMD. We've always wanted the PMD. The PMD costs $1.99. And I've heard really good reviews because it does like micro abrasion and it has all these type of things. But... Ain't nobody got time for that. If it's free, it's for me. And if I get it for free, I'm going to keep it. You know, this works just as good. Yeah, I'm not paying and, $200 for a machine when I can oh, get some. Oh, man, mine's died. Dang it. That's okay, because... You could use mine. I'll just clean it off. Um, I'm going to charge mine. It died. But it I'm did take a lot a of stuff. I'm going to put mine a little bit higher. Yeah, um... I gotta charge mine, so let me get the charger for it, and then I'm gonna charge it and continue it, but yeah, just check Amazon, because they have different alternatives and different devices that you can get. This is the soap that my sister was talking about, this is the tree, tea tree, no, tree hut, 
the banana oak um, one and it's good it's very very gritty it's like oil based so we use this every day I wouldn't maybe recommend if your face is sensitive very sensitive I would just use this once a week yeah and then just use like a nice mild soft soap like a Neutrogena you know something like that that is not very harsh on the face but these right now we have another one in the cabinet over there that we're gonna use next but we love these because tree hut sponsor bitch because we love all their products so we made soup today we added some eggs some squash we did malagueta for those of you who are dominican y'all know uh, marlene was high and wanted to make this look at the eggs right there i did like nine eggs um so if you guys want to see us do this like recreate a different one let us know it's just the ramen soup let me show you the ramen soup that we use these are the ones that we grew up eating top ramen right here we grew up eating these my favorite one is the shrimp one which there's one in here as you guys can see <laughs> let me know which one is your favorite one i like to put potatoes in this um but Don't we didn't have... have the red one with the beef yeah i never tried that one me let either. me know you guys i remember buying these at the dollar store or i don't know if it was in the bodega one of the two four for a dollar and now they sell the packs well for like seven dollars probably if i'm not mistaken in certain supermarkets how times have changed you guys like i cannot believe how expensive food has gotten so this is the brand that we use we grew up using this i didn't know it was whole all spice Me? i didn't know that is this like black pepper or what don't mind this i gotta clean this i love the but, way it smells yeah it smells really good and we grew up just it using this. It reminds me like a big fat pepper bowl. Yeah. Like a black pepper bowl. Let me smell it. Hold on, you guys. Let me smell that too. Hold on. Look. Let me show. You guys see what it looks like. It does smell like pepper, by the way. This is the brand of hookah that I'm using. Mm. Guava. And it's pretty good. It smells good. It smells. It reminds it's, me of sopa. It reminds me of like black pepper. Yeah, yeah. sopita. So. And you know which one I like too, and I would love to wear a necklace in my neck. The nutmeg, the whole nutmeg that oh you. Oh my god! I love that one. Yeah, it that one so is good. good too. Yeah, but oh, this looks like. Let me show you my pepper mill. It looks like it, but this one is smaller than this one. Okay, it's probably in the same family, but these are just the big dogs, and these are the babies. All right, this is the brand. So this shirt is from Target. The pants are from Ross. The sandals are from Lauren Conrad Coles. These, I don't know where Darling got these, and these are from um, a beauty supply store. And I think your glasses are probably from uh, Rainbows or something. Probably. Okay, you guys, my whole outfit, including slides, are from Ross. These are from Rainbows. Lipstick, we're both wearing them. Is a bachelorette from Kat Von D. This is Marlene's crop top that I'm wearing. As you can see, I just put on these pants and they broke here from me like picking them up and stuff like that so yeah by the way these are extra large and that's my outfit